why is it so difficult for you to be taken seriously by a man? You know, this is one of the problems that I've had throughout, you know, my career, stepping into being a woman and learning how to talk to people around me and also being taken seriously. You know, my background um, was in the restaurant industry for over 10 years and being in the restaurant industry and even approaching tables and was an extreme fine dining, right? Being able to talk to people and then take you seriously, especially on the other end of the table was very, very different. Um, you know, somebody would come in and they were spending a lot of money. So you would flirt and you would smile and he just wanted to make sure you did everything right because you were trying to get your tip and you're trying to take care of your family. So when it comes to business, like how does that correlate? How does that coordinate? The one thing that I see that breaks my heart is that a lot of women put men down. How dare that man do that to me? How dare he be disrespectful to me? And we don't take the time to have a look and see how we're presenting ourselves in order for them to respond appropriately to us. Now, I will take a disclaimer and say, yes, we've all been through a circumstance or there might have been a situation where somebody has not had the right intentions and maybe was completely out of character and this is not what I'm talking about. What I am talking about is if you have a pattern over and over and over again, then maybe it's time to take a look because if everywhere you go, men treat you disrespectfully, everywhere you go, then maybe it has something to do with you, right? And and this is a hard conversation, right? It's even difficult for me to talk about it because it, it puts me, I'm like, oh no, what are you thinking? What is she gonna think about me? But no, like you get to be treated like a queen and like royalty everywhere you go. And if it's me having some tough love with you right now, then that's okay. Because I've experienced it myself because I've definitely been there. So we're just gonna have a tough love conversation. <clears throat> Number one, when you are dressing yourself and you're presenting yourself, have a moment and take a look, right? And this is all with an alignment to the intentionality of what you want. This is in alignment with your intentions. So if I am trying to present myself as a classy woman, as a woman that is responsible in order to take corporate clients, um, as a woman that could close big deals, as a woman that an organization would like to hire to come and speak in front of their clientele or in front of their staff, I wanna make sure that I'm presenting myself as such. And the way that I dress, right, I don't get to dress like a librarian, but I also don't get to dress too risque. I remember when I first started being in some type of, of a corporate or a, a higher scale environment, and I got invited to a event and I went and I was wearing some cocktail dress and I remember I was one of the youngest girls there I was wearing a cocktail dress and I remember all the women were wearing really elegant like nice and I had no clue like I had no clue what I was doing now I will say this it doesn't matter what anybody thinks about you like this is not about judgment this is not about comparing yourself to others but this is about putting your best foot forward and how you show up in one area of your life is how you're showing up in other areas of your life so let's take this seriously whenever i show up to business whenever i show up to a conference i get to be feminine i get to be sexy yes but i also get to be classy i also get to be covered but I don't have to look like I'm in a potato sack, right? So I get to be in my power. I don't have to show too much to be able to have a lot of presence in the room. And I get to walk in my feminine essence, right? I get to be feminine. Now, when it comes to men, so a couple things, which I just learned this tip from Kat Moreno. So girl, I'm about to share this tip, appreciate you. Whenever I meet men in business, I never meet them face on. Never face on. Always want to be at a 45 degree angle to shake their hand and I'm putting my my aura in another direction. Um, and the reason being is biologically when I'm facing you this way, um, automatically I'm showing you biologically that I am some type of interested. Okay, so just interesting fact to know, I want to be turned another way because I'm here for business, not here for pleasure, if you know what I mean here for business. Um, the second thing is honoring the man that I'm speaking to. So many times we like to emasculate men. We like to prove 
that we are abundant and we're a businesswoman and that we make money. Like you don't have to prove anything. You are powerful, you're beautiful, you're more than enough, you're so worthy, like you don't have to prove yourself at all. So have the ability to step into your femininity and listen, allow them to talk, right? Honor the person that you're speaking to. Um, part of being healed and in your feminine is by respecting a man. I promise you, if you treat men like kings, they will treat you like a queen every single time. Every single time, you don't have to do much, right? Secondly, the direct staring into each other's eyes, like longingly contact of eye contact is, is not exactly what you're trying to go for. Yes, shake hand, make eye contact, you're serious, but not this like gazing and like staring at each other's soul unless you're purposely trying to show that you really are interested in this person. Secondly, men have to earn your smile. They have to earn your smile. I can't preach that enough when you're in a business conversation, whenever you're at a networking event, it's not, oh my God, yeah, totally, oh my gosh, yes, ha ha ha, right? Like you look like you are, you are very, very, very interested and if that's not what you're trying to give off, um, watch yourself, you can be pleasant, you can be still, smile softly, be engaged. You don't need to talk about your personal life. You don't need to talk about too many things you can just be mysterious and you can just be confident and in your space, be pleasant, right? When it comes to men taking you seriously, a woman that's calm, poised in her essence, doesn't have to try to prove herself and do much, will be taken so much more seriously than the woman rocking around trying to prove herself trying to do too much you don't have to do too much be in your essence if you want to be taken seriously in a conversation don't smile too much and it's sad that we have to have these conversations but we get to we get to have these conversations you get to be treated like royalty wherever you go um the very last thing in terms of men treating you well and taking you seriously is that you hold your ground I can't tell you how many times, like, has a man ever, like, touched your arm or tried to do business? Like, oh, like, got a little bit close, asked you something personally. Like, what do we do in those moments, right? It's awkward, right? It's so awkward. Like, how do we say, oh, I'm not interested, or they're asking for our phone number, and you know that it's every, like, what do you do in that? So, firstly, if somebody is touching you, right, you can look at them and have the ability to step into your boldness and say, hey, if this is how our relationship is going to be and you can't speak to me without putting your hand on me, then I think that this is not gonna work out. Or, hey, if the business deal is only gonna work because you need to touch me, like the business deal is not gonna work out, right? And being able to have the ability to say that and to step into your power, get over your, feel, your fear and stand up for yourself. Also, um, when it comes to a man asking for your phone number and you don't wanna give them your phone number, um, why can't you just be transparent, right? If a man asks for your phone number and you're not interested, you know, talk to him about what you want, right? Right now in my life, man asks me for my phone number. I'm not interested. I'm like, hi, I'm looking for my husband. You're not him. <laughs> you know, like I'm looking for something serious. Like you're not it. So whenever you are clear as to what you want in your life it's a little bit easier to be transparent if you don't want to hurt somebody's feelings just be like hey i appreciate it but you know i'm i'm not i'm not available or i'm seeing somebody or like whatever the truth is for you you're not it for me you know just be able to say that like why can't why can't you just be real like why why make up the story anyways i went over so many columns so much dialect in this video, which is absolutely fantastic. But the whole point is, is that you're going to treat yourself as royalty. You're going to treat yourself as a queen. You're going to walk in your power. And by doing so, people are going to respond as such. You don't have to do too much. You don't have to be anything that you're not. Stand in your essence, stand in you, and walk with intention. You don't have to smile too much. You just got to be you. And you being you is more than good enough. Wait.